Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're out here in Geneva, Illinois, and we're at the Geneva Concourse. Great show. I'm here with Len. Len, what's your last name? Anderson. And Len's got an interesting story. What car did you bring today? I brought a 1932 Buick. It's a model 96 S Country Club Coupe, and uh, it's just a full classic, and it's a longer wheelbase than the normal Buick. And the interesting part about this car, in 1957, as a 13-year-old lad, I drove this car without a license <laughs> and it broke the law, but I was able to buy the car in 2010. In 2010. So I'll grab the camera. Thank you so much, as I usually do. Come on over here. Come on back okay. with me. All right. Come on back with me. Let's speak right into there. Okay. So here we have just a massive ride. This doesn't fit uh, in your, uh, uh, in, in your, uh, oops, excuse me, in your, in your driveway very easily. Come on with me, Len. Some of the challenge we're facing here is people are going to be walking past us, but uh, man, that looks good. And tell me, you've got this car completely optioned out. Yes, the car uh, 96S had everything optioned on side mounts. The only options were on the side metal side covers, which just show, has. Show me those. Okay. You would, you'd have rubber tires here. The, the, the option was the, the metal covers. Okay. The other option was a clock, and this car even has the uh, Buick clock that's got the script on there. And it also features the original the features the original mole here upholstery, with uh, oh, yeah. trimmed out with silk. And uh, the feature of this car is the rumble seats, a four passenger. The rumble, the windows will roll down, so you can talk to the back seat, rumble seat passengers. There's or if you don't want to talk to them, you leave the window up, and you can pull the shade down if you want to look at them. So it's got a full shade back, a silk shade. Uh, car is a big second year for the straight eights. It's uh, just a wonderful uh, example of a survivor that uh, has had a good life from a car collector when I knew it back in the 50s, a uh, Lars Mohegan car. And uh, I still have Lars's things when I used to go to car shows back in the 50s with it. And uh, it kind of keep it in memories of him for me, getting me into the car hobby. Wow, I'm telling you. And this is your handbrake? That's your emergency brake emergency right there. Emergency brake. Okay. What's and, the uh, big silver? That's your heater? That's your heater, and that still works. A little, little put on, you got a little warm heat. Uh, that's your air conditioner, literally, the little call vent. All Opens right, up, little vent out, out there. To you. Got and, it. Uh, let's, uh, let's get an overall look at the side of the car. Let's shut that. Okay. And it's got the golf back door in here. What, which, what do they call these? Those are step plates. Step plates. Just go keep ahead, your running horse. This is your golf club door, and you would come out if you want to go golf. You, this is still the original shafts in the car from the old <laughs> golf club days. So <laughs> that came with the car. Came with the car. All right. So it's fully equipped with yeah, a golf club. Yeah, fully equipped. Right. With golf club. So, we got so we'll all throw that. that in there. All right. But it's just uh, it's original wood. The car has not been rewooded. It's a. Uh, it just had it's repainted in 1980, so it's a 30-year-old paint job, but it's all Buick colors. It's so just these a, are the original Buick colors. Let's take this car in, and we got to keep moving back. Okay. To get this car in from the. It's side. a long wheelbase car. It's 134-inch wheelbase, so it's a, it's a, it's a long, long wheelbase. It's basically almost like a Cadillac body with Buick body. And you were saying that the extension back here, there was yeah. this extended. If you look at it, the 90 series, they got about another foot right long here. The 6080 okay. would be a foot shorter car. Okay. On the wheelbase. And the trunk is an accessory. We put that on the trunk rack, which came standard. But uh, we got a, we've got a seat back here. Obviously. That's a rumble seat. Rumble seat. And then the and it's so interesting. This is a tail light, and the only reason this light exists here is to tell you got a Buick, the Cuisinier Buick that shines ah, up in Buick at night. I see that. Gives you your little tail so there. we step here. You get the we rumble step seat. Here and you you're going to in. get into it. You go here. You go here. Then you reverse it. Got it. Let's uh, let's take an overall look at the back of the car. It's fun to put kids in the rumble seat. They get they get a kick out. Oh of it, yeah. So. Well, heck, you can put me in there and I'll there have a kick go. out of it. We'll get we'll get an adult back. <laughs> but uh, but here's this car. I mean, what kind of reaction do people have when they see that? I mean, beautiful colors. Well, people love Buicks. You know, Buick is uh, I guess America's. 1903. They started making what, Buicks. What is, so what is this official? That, uh, I guess this, we are thing. this. We all pay taxes. Okay, so sure. It's kind of a low. This came with a car, so I thought it's it's appropriate. <laughs> you know, Lars had that on the car. Was this an option? The yeah, the, the trunk was the trunk rack would be up this way. The trunk was option. Mm -hmm. So the trunk rack, and this is a good way to just keep. Extra stuff like well, oil and gas. Yeah, because you, know, you really don't have a trunk because you got a seat. Right, you got a rumble seat up there, so there's no well, trunk got up there. Tons of room. Yeah. And let's take a look at that. Big, big 18 inch. Well, these tires are 30 years old, but they've held up. The car doesn't get driven that many miles. They've held up beautifully. For they really age. have. Let's open up the door on this side. Not that we haven't seen the interior already, but just give people a little more detail on that dash. What's 
What is this little knob here? That is just that's a control for your speedometer, the resetting oh, okay. your odometer. That's your odometer setting. Uh, this little switch here controls the lights and also controls the interior lighting, the little toggle switch. You do have a cigarette lighter. This is what you call a cat's eye. It's like it glows when it lights up. Ew. And you have a little ashtray for those who smoke, but I don't think this car has ever been smoked in. Yeah, <laughs> so. okay. And what's this this uh, chrome ball here? That's This is this rides up here. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That's your air conditioner. That's, that pushes that up. Raw well, air right. dumps right into you. And this is your gear shifter? That's, that's your part of your control system, right? And, and the gear shift is on the side right here. What are these two wings? Uh, one is speed throttle control, and the other one is lights. This controls your lights, and then, of course, the horn works off the... But then I, this has got the um, accessory, the uh, turn signals on. This this is off a little later Buick, but it's the old school one. Okay. We run turn signals just to be on the safe sure. side. Sure. Let's uh, open up the hood. Sure. I love the venting there. Yeah, that's it keeps the engine cooler when you're running it. And I'm sure each side of the engine compartment looks a little bit different. Yeah, the spark plugs are on the other side. It's got a, this air cleaner, carburation, uh, controls, big straight eight engine. It's um, When we start it, which side should we be looking at? What's got a little more activity on it? This uh, side the, the other side? Either side's got the spark plugs over there. That might be a little bit more interest, but the carburation right. is, you know, a lot of the controls. What is what is this right here? Yeah. This is your air, air cleaner for the carburetor. Oh, okay. Your carburetor hooks on. That's your cleaner system for keeping it. Like an air cleaner would be on a modern car. You got know, it. So. Got it. Where's the VIN number? Usually a little bad. It's badges. on the other side over on here. On the other side. Okay, so let's shut this side. And I like those, uh, how, the, how you shut that down. Yeah, it's just a box in. And then this is a carburetor for, for air to the carburation, if you nice. want additional air for that. Got it. Let's do the, uh, let's do the other side. I love those little fender lights. Turn signals. This is your uh, VIN number right through here, and that's saying you got a 96S, I think, on the model 96S right here, is on the 96 map. You have, if you want a, a little oiler, and then the, uh, of course, the spark plugs and all that. There's the oiler we talked about, and even yeah. though it's kind of dark under there, you'll be amazed at how the high-def camera will yeah. be able to pull that out, and we'll be able to pause and What's see. What's interesting about this engine is it's an original engine. It's never been, never yeah, been taken apart. Here? Just part of a water pump system okay. on there, you know, your, your water pump system and all that. And then distributor, obviously, and then just everything. Why don't, we, why don't we start it up? While you're doing it, keep this open yeah. if we can. Will yeah. it shake? Uh, okay, I'm going to take a quick look at this. Do, do me one favor. Do we take a look at this? Come yeah. with me for a second. Lennox. Yeah. Len, so, so this is a 1932 Buick um, information, and it shows the... Uh, Are you done with the, the, the chains up the here? Bell. Uh, yes. Okay. And this talks about the different models. There's Len's car at the top, but you can kind of go down and see some of the details back in that time frame. The seven passenger limousine and her roadster. And this was a big feature back then as well. Okay, Len, let's start it up. Yeah, you can hit somebody else. Good. Let me get some exhaust note. There's the there's the exhaust note there. Nice and quiet. Let's shut it off. Yeah. Nice and quiet engine. Yeah, it is nice and quiet. Let's uh, we'll shut the hood. Yep. Well, 
setting that. I'm going to just feature some of the details of his car. Lane, come on over on this side. Before I forget, I just love this little Buick no, detail. Bar. They have, that's the only Buick badge in up front in the car. Yeah, stand right next to it. Yeah. Hey, Len, thanks for telling us your story about how this is the first car you drove as a kid, and, and here you have it now years later, right? I have. How awesome is that? It's, I love it. It's a that's, great hobby, and it's great people, and uh, this is a great event. Geneva Concourse is a wonderful show, just a great fundraiser for a great cause. Thanks so, so. much for being on My Car Story. Thank you so much.